Hey friends, my name's Stevie Taylor. Welcome to the Gig Life Podcast. My guest today is drummer and vocalist Buddy Siolo. Born in Samoa, raised in New Zealand, thug in the streets of the Hutt Valley in Otara uh, before touring the hard rock cafe circuit through Asia and a turn of events that led him to meet the Martinez brothers from there. Um, led him onto loads and loads of bands, top acts such as Delta Goodrum and Jess Malboy and many others. Um, with Buddy it's all about music and family. Um, it was a good laugh, just a uh, warning. Strong language in this one, so if you don't like swearing, go listen to something else. <laughs> but yeah, awesome chat. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. I think we're rolling. Yeah, you? Yeah. Buddy Siolo. Yeah, man. Bro, welcome to the Gig Life Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thanks for having me, bro. Bro, beautiful view here. Oh, yeah, man. Up on the... Up on, up on the roof. Up on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful King's Grove. Yeah, no, it's awesome. It's a top spot, eh? So, bro, um... Let's roll right back to the start. Um, yep. You know, um, you're from Samoa. Yep. Um, were you playing the instruments in Samoa? Or, or? Um, and I grew up in New, in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was born in Samoa, and when did you come out to? Uh, fuck, I was a baby. Oh, right, okay. Oh, right, okay, yep. Uh, yeah, so I grew up in New Zealand. Um, dad had a band. Yep. Uh, you know, so... I used to play all the pubs in the area. Yeah. Was that Native Soul? No, no, no. No, that's something else? That, okay. was, that, that was me and my brother's band. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm just, I just found some notes. I'm just <laughs> going off them, bro. So. Um, yeah, my, my dad was a muso. Yeah. Played guitar, sang. You know, so they had a band. So it was normal to have you know, people play music yep. in the house, you know? Yep. So he kind of used to rehearse at home with his band. And yep. Have drink ups and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And fucking had my brothers playing in the band as well. Yeah, my older brothers. So yep. then I came along just to watch them play when I was yep. little. Yep. I was like, fuck, it's, you know, it just naturally went that way. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So um, yeah, man. I think probably at the age age of age of four, my dad my dad took me to church threw me on the drums and I was playing at church at four. Mm-hmm. Like, so drums like, was your first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like actually playing. Yeah. And I might um, add this was in the beautiful Hut Valley. Yeah. Which we both uh, know very well. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I actually grew up in the hut and you know, yeah. my, my my dad was from Taira and my mum from Nainai. Yeah, yeah. And aunties and uncles in Wainui, so yeah. Yeah, I know the area there, so yeah, it's yeah, man. good to no, see. Um, back at that time we were in Wainui, but church was over in the hut. Yeah. Um, Actually, in uh, was it spot just before? Was it before or after Waterloo? Uh, Melling, Petoni. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> can't remember. Either. Can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, church was there, so yeah. we used to make the travel over the hill. Yeah. Every Sunday, fucking, I used to love it, man, because I got, I got to play drums. Yeah. Church wasn't much, didn't, didn't fucking, I had no clue of what the fuck that was, you know. Right, yeah. I, all I knew was, fuck, oh, we're going to church. You get to jam. And fucking we're playing. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah, man. That's, <laughs> it's that's mad. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, so, yeah, it started there, fucking, you know, it was, you know, I've been playing ever since. Yeah. Um, fuck, played. I think in my teen years I fucking started getting all naughty and shit. So I fucking I was on on the street for a while. Yeah. You know, doing all the dumb shit. Um fucking well, I think probably at about for ninety ninety, my brother, my older brother Patrick Seal, he um he he had, he he was in a band and um they came over here. Sydney and fucking started doing a few gigs around here and it 
eventually got picked up by because I would think they were doing the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh yeah. It was like years ago. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, I think around 1990 they got picked up to go and do Hard Rock Cafe circuit. Because there was there was Darling Day. Hard Rock yeah, Cafe. It was old, it was old yeah, the old one. Yeah. 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 Yep. So. They got picked up to go and do the Hard Rock Cafe circuit around Asia, yeah. Southeast Asia. Yeah. So they started doing that for a few years. And then around, I think around 90, 94, 95, he, their drummer was, was going to pull out of the band and they were going to look for a drummer to join them so he could manage from back home. Yeah. And... Um, Bang and keep going. Yeah. Do do all the contracts and that. So fuck he told them oh, we'll we'll get my brother. Hey, hey how are you? Hey, it's good. My wizard's done Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thanks for that. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um yeah, so they 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 they, they kept touring and the that dude came back and my brother called up see what I was doing, found out I was on the street and that, so he goes, no, nah, fuck that, <laughs> yeah. he goes, no, nah, you're fucking going with me, so he took me under his wing and fucking, and I was 14, so it was 95, yeah, 95, yeah, um, so yeah, fucking, I did, went, went out, started touring, did my first contract when I was 14, yep, and first stop was fucking Hard Rock Cafe Bali, hey, uh, fucking total cult culture shock. Yeah. Because I'd never been on a plane. All I knew from back home was fucking go out in the street, fucking have a fight. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, shit like that, isn't it? Yeah. Being a little hard cat. But, um, yeah. Uh, fuck, took me over there and it was just fucking something totally different. And fuck, you got motherfuckers with money rolling up flash rides. Walk out on the street and you got some. Got fucking, motherfuckers with guns and fucking yeah, knives too, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah man. Yeah. You're fucking. It's hard. You, you look around, you got these fucking kids on the street begging. Yeah. With kids same age as me at that time, and yep. they were fucking like boys, young boys, but made to be fucking prostitute, like fuck dressed up as girls, bro. It was right. fucked. Yeah. That was my fucking. I I had my. It was my fucking 14, so a week from then was my birthday, mm. 10, 15. Mm. Didn't go out when I got there because fuck, we, we were rehearsing and fucking trying to get the band all tight and fucking make sure I knew all the shit. So we, the first week was that, just preparing, fucking getting everything ready so fucking um, the show's good. Yeah. Um, week from then, my, my 15th birthday, so my brother thinks, oh fuck. Show this cat, yeah, fucking <laughs> show this cat around. So fucking finish the gig. He goes, oh fuck, quick, grab a shit and we'll fucking, I'll drop you off to this bar we're going to. And then um, I'll, I'll go back and fucking grab the rest and then we'll come back. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sweet. I mean, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> so anyway, we fucking, we've, he's hired, we've all, we all had bikes. A fucking a motor little scooter bike. Yep. So, so he's taking me for a fucking know, a half an hour, twenty minute, half an hour drive, fucking around wherever, just going around in circles. I don't know where the fuck we're going. <laughs> he's been there fucking eight times. So he knows the place inside out. Anyway, fucking get to the fucking bar that we're going to. The fucking scummy bar, fucking on the main drag. I then like. I'm like, fuck, okay. He goes, yeah, yeah, fuck, come. So he takes me inside, takes me to the lady that owns the bar, this fucking butch ass, fucked up looking chick, bro. <laughs> and fuck, it was the, the, I remember it, the, it was called Mama's Bar, or Mama's, and she owned that fucking pub. Right. And he goes, here, yeah, fuck, here's Mama. And Mama's like, fuck, you just fucking staunching me out, bro. <laughs> 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 Anyway, I'm fucking sitting there, this fucking me and her, she's behind the bar, and fucking all along the bars, all these fucking hookers and shit like that, bro. And I'm like, I've never been in that situation. <laughs> I'm fucking just to 15. Yeah, fuck, I'm sitting there. Fuck, 
fuck all these fucking hookers are just trying to talk to me. I'm not fucking not, I'm here. <laughs> I'm not talking to no motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fucking, not talking to anyone. Fucking, I kind of, I looked up at the fucking mama and she's looking at me and I'm going, um, how far is the hard rock ever from me? And <laughs> <laughs> here's me, the dumb car, I don't know anything. So we're on the main drag there on Ligia Street in fucking Kura Bali. And like, didn't realise where I was. Yeah. All I knew was I was fucking by myself in this fucking bar mm. with these fucking shady <laughs> ass people, bro. And fucking not realising that the Hard Rock Cafe was like a couple hundred metres down the street. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother played me a fucking good one. That oh, man. that's great. And the whole time, <laughs> oh, so fuck, I asked her, how, how far is the Hard Rock Cafe? And she goes, oh, it's far. And she's in on it. I'm like, oh, yeah, OK. And they fucking... So I kind of got up and just walked out the front of the fucking joint. And she's come and followed me. And she goes, oh, come on, I'll take you for a walk. Walk me the other way. <laughs> yeah, I was fucked. But she did it on purpose? Yeah, or? she did it on oh. purpose because she knew... Was your he, brother in on that? Or? Yeah, he fucking... <laughs> so anyway, she takes me for a walk up the street. And I fucking... First cunts we bump into are these fucking two, two kids, man. They were like, they were probably my age, and they were fucking boys, but they were dressed up as fucking girls yeah. going to get business. Yeah, and I was fucking shocked, bro. I was shock, like, man. what but, the fuck? Yeah, yeah. And then fucking, she's talking to them, and they were like, ah. and then fucking, she get, it was kept walking up a little bit more, and the whole time, my brother and the rest of the band are across the street. And another bar fucking laughing their heads <laughs> off, bro. Now I'm fucking sitting there tripping. Now I'm like, yeah. fucking, I'm like, the first motherfucker that touches me is on my <laughs> fucking passion, bro. <laughs> fucking, anyway, fucking, <laughs> we walked up the street and then we came to walk back. We walked it back and then I fucking look over the road and my brother and the rest of the crew are walking out and pissing themselves oh, and laughing. That's funny. Fuck, anyway, that was fucking, that was my first fucking contract. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Yes, <laughs> don't turn it back now, yeah. bro. <laughs> fucking, oh. yeah, we just got in the piss. It was fucking yeah. funny. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it started from there for me, man. Yeah. Like, I, in my whole life growing up before that, I've always wanted to be a musician. Yeah. And yeah, I've always wanted to play. Oh, I can see that you're playing. It's yeah. clear, bro. It's, it's yeah. just something that I've always wanted to do, and I've yep. just, ever since I've Fuck, I was a baby, just yeah. watching my, my brother and my dad. But, um, yeah. And, and you came, so you came home from Bali? Yeah, so, so did Bali and fuck, probably for a good 18 years I was doing that, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, 17, 18 years I was on the road doing that. Fuck. And, um, and we, went, we went from doing Hard Rock Cafe, the Hard Rock Cafe circuit around Asia. Yeah. To getting picked up by um, fuck it was for Shangri La hotels, right? Shangri La hotel chain, right. and that was fucking mint, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they fucking then the Hard Rock Cafe to look after us, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah they had our own place, it was had our own fucking house, everything was there, set up. Yeah. Drivers pick us up. Yeah. Away, come back. Mm. Um. But yeah, got picked up from. Um, Shangri-La Hotel chain in in, in Jakarta mm -hmm. was our first one. Yeah. yeah. What year was that? Do you remember? Um, probably ninety. Probably ninety-seven. Oh yeah. Ninety yeah. around ninety-seven. Yeah. Ninety-seven. Yeah, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. We started doing that chain, and then we started pick. We got picked up also to do uh, the Hyatt chain. Yeah. So we bounced it back and forth from Hyatt to fucking Shangri-La Hotel. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also other hotel chains like fucking Mulia mm -hmm. in, in Indonesia. Yeah. Which are cool, man. Yeah. Fucking doing those contracts, they're fun. Yeah. And fucking... Security uh, too, eh? Yeah. Mm. Um, and yeah. The, Financial security, sorry, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, mm. you know, my... My, uh, my brother used to fucking hand it, handle most of it. Uh, it's the deal for us, and, you know. 
and fucking put and something and, and at most of the time we were booked two years ahead. Yeah. And we were out on the road for fucking at least nine months to a year. Yeah. So we were always doing something, we were yeah. always out there. Yeah. Which was fucking great. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm. It was after doing my first contract and I went home for a week, but I couldn't stay there. Yeah, right. I didn't want to be at home, I wanted yeah, to be yeah. fucking out there again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're out there, you're fucking doing it. Yeah. And you're gaining all this fucking experience. Yeah, that's it. And you're fucking just taking everything in. Yeah. Whereas that, some people would be loving to go home for that week. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't they? And I fucking, I was like, nah, I can't, I don't want to go back home, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd rather be out here. Yeah, awesome. I was fucking fucked at home, nothing. Yeah. So fucking dudes my age is fucking already fucking in jail and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's not no point. Yep. I'd rather be out here doing this. Yeah. So fuck yeah, man, I fucking did it till I fucking couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. <coughs> but yeah, fucking 17, 18 years I was on the road, man. Yeah, yeah. And it was fucking awesome. Yep. Um, Met a lot of fucking great musos too while I was yep. out on the road. Um, that you have, you still have those connections with yeah, them now? Yeah, yeah, still have fucking yeah. connections with a lot of them. Yeah. Um, and fucking some of those guys did the same. They did this, those circuits and then they've yep. gone out and done yep. big, bigger and better things. Yeah. You know? yep. And then, um, but yeah, fucking, it, it's been a fucking, the, those years were good. Yeah. I was young, I was fucking. Yeah. Young and, and, and ready. Keen as. Keen as. Yeah, fucking heaps hungry, of work. Hungry, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah. Fucking, and I was just playing drums and singing yep. at that time. Yeah. Um, when did you realise you could sing? Man, I was probably about when I was 10. Oh, yeah? I, I was 10. My brother my brother had a mate who had a, fa had a family band. Yeah. And uh, my brother put me, he put me forward. Yep. And play drums. Yep. Yeah, fucking, um, they wanted me, to, they asked if I could sing as well. So if I started singing, I was singing all the Bob shit. Yeah. Bob Marley. Yeah. I was fucking vibing, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck, hey, I could do that. My first gig was the, one of the the guy's sister's 21st. Yeah. And that was where I first made my first hundred bucks, bro. I was yeah. like fucking cheering. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Yeah. Because I could get paid doing this yeah, shit. It's fucking right. awesome. But yeah, I mean, I, that was my first gig I ever started singing at. Yeah, that's cool. And then we hit the road playing and singing and up until about 2000, 2010. So, no, not 2010, uh, 2000. I yeah. stopped, stopped playing drums and I came out the front. And... Um, yeah, I came out the front, and I was a front man for the band. Yeah. So fucking, at this stage we were doing this joint called Hotel Molia in Jakarta. Yeah. And. Um, so back out on that. Yeah. Circuit. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. It was out, out, out on that circuit. Yeah. So, from then, we were. Um, the thing of doing those those gigs like that, uh, it's more of a show. Yeah. So they want to they have really visual and shit like that. Yeah. And on on bands and that that's what they want. They want to see something fucking coming at them. Yeah. So the whole thing is is fuck it, everyone's moving. Yeah. Fuck it, everyone's dancing. Fuck it, dance routines and shit like that. Yeah. So fucking um fucking back in when I was little, I used to break. Fuck, I used to love breaking food and shit like that. So fucking naturally I danced as well. So yep. fucking it was cool. So I had to, I, I got off the drums. I got off the drums and um, we flew in a drummer, a guy named Mikey Pormana. He's a fucking really really close mate of mine yep. and of ours, you know. And yep. Fuck good drummer too. Mm. Solid. Mm. But yeah, we got him in. I went out the front and then I was. The main dude out the front, main guy out the front, um, singing, dancing. Yeah. I was fucking the singer, choreographer. In fact, I used to train the crew because we, at that point, we were just taking crew from back home. 
We weren't using anybody from anywhere else. It's like strictly just a Kiwi band. Yeah. And um, so whoever came on, I had to fucking train people. Yeah. Fuck, keep up with stamina because yeah. fuck, we'll be up there for fuck good three hours. Just yeah, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's fucking footage of some footage floating around of us just fucking go for it. Yeah. You know, because that's what they need. They yep. need over there. That's yeah, what yeah. they want. Yep. In your face, fucking everything's yeah. going, yeah. Gotcha, yeah. So I did that from 2000 right up until, right up, right up until I left. Like I left in 2010 and came here. Came here, yep. Um, yeah, and like, yeah, it's 10 years of not playing drums, which... Well, you, didn't play, you didn't play at all? No. Nah. Just put, put was, sticks away and didn't touch? Yeah, I was oh, fucking, fuck. I was a front dude yeah, really? fucking that whole 10 years. Yeah. And fucking yeah, man, I used to train, I was fucking slim ass, fucking, I was a machine, bro. Yeah, and fucking the whole night choreography hard out for every fucking song singing on top of that motherfucker <laughs> fucking yeah out of breath and shit but fucking got a hammer through fucking you get used to it so fucking yeah, yeah. nothing yeah. but yeah man I did that fucking 10 years 14 years didn't fucking touch a drum kit mm. um, and I didn't think I would ever fucking go right. back on the kit right. um, 2010 I, I left I stayed in, I was living in Jakarta for probably a good six months. I thought, nah, I was fucking, after the first week of not fucking gigging, I was itching a fucking gig, you yeah, know, do yeah, something. Yeah. Which I could have gone back and done it, but I was yeah. like, no, nah, I don't want to because like, I kind of left. I left because my son was born. Yeah. Like, he was born. 2006, mm -hmm. and I hardly got to see him. Mm -hmm. So I was always fucking traveling to different places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was born in Jakarta. Yeah. So fucking for a good four years, I, had, I hardly saw him. Mm -hmm. So I thought, nah, man, I can't fucking mm -hmm. keep yeah. doing it. I, I, yeah. fucking, I'm missing my, my kid and my missus, yeah? So yeah. I thought, no, I'm fucking stop that and fucking settle down. Mm -hmm. So fucking. Lived in Jakarta for a few months and then I was like, nah, it's fucking bored. Mm. So I'm sitting there doing nothing. Mm. Yeah. So I thought, oh, fuck. I didn't want to go back home. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, fuck, I'll come here and try it out here. Yeah. yeah. And my, my, my thought was I'm going to come here and just fucking live a normal life. Yeah. And fucking, you know, go to work. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. That's it. Fucking yep. fuck the music off yeah. completely. Yeah. Fuck. Could do it. Yeah, <laughs> right. I was fucking... So what did you do? What we, uh, what we doing for work? When, when, I, when I first came here, I got a, I, I worked, I got a job through my sister through the company she was working with called CBC Australia or some shit. And it was a bearings. Bearings, company. yeah, yeah. We, yeah. I, I'm, I'm an electrical fitter, so. I, oh yeah. We, we buy, from, buy from CBC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plug. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, bro, I'd like to see Yeah. Yep. So I was working with them for a while. It was here too in Kingsbury. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was there I was there for a little bit, a few months and then left that job. Um fucking I was staying at my sister's house too in Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Um did that for a bit. Uh, flew my missus over with my son, yep. and at that time she was pregnant with my daughter. Yep. Uh, fucking in, fucking in, me and my, my sister had a falling out. Like fucking, it was over some dumb shit too. Like fucking, so we had a falling out, so. And so we came back one day after being with a. My my wife's friend, who, who's from here, mm. we were there for the day, and then we came home, back to my sister's place. Fuck, had a big fucking falling out over fuck it was something fucking little. And it escalated. I told her, I was, yeah, fuck you, fuck you, I don't fucking need you. Mm. 
So fucking, I'd fucking pack, I'd fucking packed everything. That fucking right there and then just fucking left. Yeah. Didn't know where the fuck we were going. Didn't know anybody. Mm -hmm. Didn't know anyone but her mate. We were just with. Yep. So we fucking stayed with them for a fucking little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those are some hard ass fucking times. Cause you're like, okay, jobless. Mm. Fucking got a kid, got a missus that's fucking pregnant, mm. and fucking got nothing but just fucking this money that you've saved, and that's about it. Mm. Fucking stay with somebody else. And fuck, I was hunting around for a job as well, so yeah. fuck. Mrs. had another mate who was a manager at fucking uh, Tradling here in Belmore. Mm -hmm. Fucking got a job there, so I was like, hey, fuck, sweet. So fucking, uh, used to fucking train it from Burwood to Belmore. Yeah. Every day, fuck, saved up heaps, fucking found a, a joint in Belmore, moved out. Yeah. Fuck, we're like, sweet, we're fucking cool now. Yeah. And then fucking get this fucking call out of nowhere from this dude, uh, fuck, his name, Luke. Luke or something, Luke Cook. Come, yeah, Luke Cook. Called me out of nowhere. Hey, man, fuck, who you, um, who do you, who are you a singer? I said, yeah, man. Oh, how the fuck do you get my number? And <laughs> how the fuck do you know who I am? He goes, oh, and, uh, and um, there was a drummer that used to live here, an Indonesian cat, why, uh, why you? Mm. Or why you? Why you? And he must have told him about me that I was here, so he fucking right. found me. Yeah, so he found me. So he would have known you from over, seen you over yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, oh. So he goes, oh, fuck, I've got this band, um, Pocket Full of Soul. Mm -hmm. He goes, oh, we fucking do this and that. And was, he goes, oh, we're looking for a singer. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, man, what king? Anyway, still working, he comes fucking picks me up, get a fucking have a rehearsal and shit, and that's where I first met uh, Phoenix. Phoenix was doing the gig. Mm -hmm. So we're sitting there fucking, me and Phoenix are fucking, yeah, sitting there with five and start talking to Phoenix, and Phoenix is like, you know what? It's good, I've got this gig fucking every week, and you're sitting just me and you, just a drawer. Mm -hmm. uh, just, there in the city, Chinatown. I said, oh, that's sweet. So I started gigging then. With that crew and then doing this fucking duo shit. And through that gig, I met all the brothers. Yep. I met Andrew, I met fucking Dono. Yep. Everyone. Yep. For yeah. people that don't know, this is the, the Martinez brothers, hey? Yeah. Yep. So I met all the fucking Martinez boys yep. from, mm -hmm. from there. Yep. Uh, and then also met fucking... Um, a lot of other musos yep. at that gig yep. coming down. I mean, at that time, I was still, I was just fucking playing guitar and singing. Mm -hmm. Still not drums yet? Still not drums yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the boys didn't know I played yeah. drums. Yep. And fucking no one knew I played drums. I was yeah. fucking, yeah. Till, um, yeah, so fucking, anyway, I was doing this gig. I was working and I was like, fuck, you know what? Still kind of struggling here. It's not working out, kind of. So I thought, okay, now nah, well, I'm gonna fuck everything off and move move over to Perth. So that mm. I, my other brother was living in Perth. Mm -hmm. So I'll go and fucking you know, do the mines. Yeah. Yeah. So I packed everything up. Um, flew the missus and the kids back to Indo, uh, and then I I packed the whole house up. Fucking got rid of everything. I was gonna move to fucking Perth. So that week that I was gonna, that was packing up and I was gonna move to Perth, fucking um, Andrew calls me. So Andrew goes, calls me and he goes, hey bro, I've got this fucking song, man. I was just wondering if you wanna come and put some vocals on it. I said, yeah, I'll see. So I fuck went down. Fucking, um, yeah, started recording, fucking, we were both sitting there listening to it, going, fuck, it sounds pretty fucking good. <laughs> that was the first track we put yeah, out, that yeah, fucking yeah. test fire. Mm -hmm. yeah, fuck, it sounds, it's vibing, man, yeah. fuck, it sounds good. Yeah. And then, and he knew I was going to be, I was moving to Perth. Right. He goes, fuck, you sure you're going to Perth, man? I was going, yeah, bro, no, I've got fucking, got mouths to feed, man. So, yeah, I was going, oh, fuck. 
So anyway, fucking, we did that, did that song that day. Next day, we get fucking, we got these other songs if we want to put something on it. So like the next three, four days, next three or four days, it was just fucking at the studio. We were just fucking doing all the other songs there. Yeah. And like, as we were doing them, we were like, fuck, this shit is fucking <laughs> yeah. all right, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We could fucking do something with it. Mm. So fuck it, I was like, I was probably about like two days out from yep. leaving. Yep. And I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. I'm going to fucking stick this out and fucking see where it goes. Good shit. So fucking, yeah, man. I fucking stayed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> stayed and fucking started gigging. Yeah. And like, as we were recording all this shit, I fucking, that, there was drums already on there. But, fuck, I said to Andrew, I said, fuck, it's just, it's not sitting right. Yeah. It doesn't feel right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not right. And he was like, oh, yeah. He was like, what do you mean? Just change it. I was like, no, don't change anything. It's just, it's not played right. Mm. And he was like, oh, fuck, you know, what do you want to do? And I said, like, fuck it. Give it to me, I'll play it. I'll play drums. And fucking, he looked at me. He was like, "Nah." <laughs> he's like, he, he, in his mind, he was thinking, "Oh, fuck, here we go." <laughs> another, another one of those, another one of these like, cunts. Yeah. You know, <laughs> another one of these cunts who thinks he can <laughs> fucking play. And like for a few days, it was like that. And I said, yeah, "Fuck him, right. man. I'm telling you, fuck, I can play that shit." Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "There's." <laughs> And it was like, fuck, no. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, sweet. He still wasn't fucking cinema. Right? Like, so anyway, I fucking uh, get a call from another another mate of mine. And he's going, um, oh, there's a fucking gig here. Can you put something together? He says, yeah, man. So fucking, so I called up Andrew. I called up Andrew and I think Phoenix did the gig. Mm. It was just a trio. Mm. So fucking me and Phoenix and Andrew really did the gig and I says, I'm playing drums. Mm -hmm. They were like, okay. Mm -hmm. And they weren't sure what to expect. And so fuck it, anyway, I turned up with the kit and set it up. Fucking time to play, count it off. It's fucking, really? Yeah. Bah! Started playing, and that was the first time I fucking played drums for fucking 10 years, bro. Yeah. And fucking these two were just sitting there going, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> hey? And fucking, I hadn't played for fucking years, bro. Yeah. But you, yeah, I right. think it's, if you, when you, if, if you've got it, you've got it, it's money like that. But yeah, fucking, yeah. from there, it was, they were like, Okay, yeah, fuck you, you stay there. Yeah. Fucking, you can do it all from there. Yeah, yeah. And fucking, we went back to the, the original shit and re recorded everything. All yep. the drums and fucking. Yep. And that's what they are today. And they're fucking, yep. they're, they're all right, man. First, <laughs> first time I ever saw you or heard about you was was on TV, playing Testify. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you had your clear. Yeah, the clear. Kit and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. I think I even, I might have even sent you a message going, or, or commented on something going, fuck, where did you come from? <laughs> what fucking hell, man. That, was, that blew me away. <laughs> nah, true, truly, it was awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it pretty much started all there yep. for us here. Yep. And fucking, you know, I'm blessed to be able to work and fucking... All the brothers, my brothers, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We fucking do everything together, man. Yeah, yeah. We're always That's how together. it seems, yeah. And we're always hanging out, giving each other shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's, it, it's all and it's always, you know, it's all fun and shit, but it's all real as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know? mm -hmm. Fucking, someone's not happy, you're not happy. Yeah, we'll that's fucking, it. We'll get down, but then at the end of it, we always fuck it, keep going. Yep. And, and so, how did from there? I mean, obviously, it's sort of natural progression. You guys, you know, you're you're everywhere. Yeah. Yep. So, how did these other high-profile gigs sort of start to come? Is it through somebody you met? Yeah. Did they see you, or 
Um, how, how does that how does that work? Man, just fucking just lucky for me. Mm -hmm. Like fucking meeting the boys. Yep. And be doing what we were doing. Yep. And then through the boys, I met everybody else. Yep. Like um, people like Daryl. Yep. Um, and fucking yeah, meeting Daryl, yep. Yanya, fucking Kevin, yep. everyone. Yep. I met everybody through the boys and fucking yep. started getting work through people like that was just calling me, fucking, are you free to stay? Oh, fuck yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, it was all through the boys. Yeah. I met everybody. Yeah. And fucking just keep going. Everyone yep. just keep calling me and fucking, yep. you, know, you know, and that's how it pretty much works. Yeah. Like you just get the call. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, they all got a. They all got the old um. The 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 Delta gig and fucking called me straight away. So I was like, yeah. And through that, you fucking you're doing other shit as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah. So you're uh, on the Delta gig. You're you're playing drums and you're singing as well. Yeah. 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 Singing and That's cool. fucking rapping. Yep. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she loves it. She's fucking... That's awesome. Yeah. She's yeah. fucking all for it. Yeah. Which is cool, yeah. Right? Yeah, man. That's cool. Yeah. No, yeah, it's pretty much how I met everyone. Yeah. So we've just been on the scene with the boys. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. And, um, you know, you also play with... Um, uh, Craig Calhoun? Yep. Yep. Yeah, same. Same, same, same thing. Same thing, yep. Met him, uh, I think the first time I met Craig was at uh, Set Joint, fucking um, Blue, Blue Beat, over in, um, in uh, fuck, Double Bay. So Blue Beat was opened up by, um, by, uh, and that's not there now, eh? They shut nah. that down. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. They've, they've changed it to a, oh, right, okay. to a club. Oh, right. But, um... Fucking clubs, eh? Yeah. They've, um... That was the, the... 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 One of the owners of, um... The basement. Right. Uh, Richards. Uh, Timmy Richards. Mm -hmm. He, um... Yeah, he pulled out of the basement. We went and opened that joint. Right. Which was open for a while. And, fucking, we were there regularly. Yeah. From the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, and it was it was always started picking up momentum there. It was all yeah. right, you know. We were getting a lot of. Yeah. I remember getting a lot of the the overseas fusion acts coming through yeah. there. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we were down at that joint for fucking a while. Yeah. And I met um yeah, and that's where I met Craig. Yeah. I met Craig there, and um, Craig was. I remember Craig telling me he didn't realize that I was here. He thought I was a drummer from somewhere else. Oh. And I was just passing through. Oh, right. He didn't know that I was living here. Right. And fucking, it wasn't until, it was, yeah, and so it wasn't until he started, he must have found out, he, he must have been looking for a drummer. Someone must have gave him my number. He said, he sent me a message. He asked me if I could, if I could do a gig. He said, yeah, man. And then fuck, from there, he fucking kept booking me. For yeah, him. that's good. He was booking me heaps here for a yep. while, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Craig's, Craig's fucking awesome. He's also a fucking great. beautiful person, man. Yeah, unbelievable bass player, man. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, you can play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, for sure. And um, you guys, do you guys run the night at the Spring Street Social thing? Is that is that yeah. something if you guys we, have? We used to hold the um the Wednesday jam nights there. Right. Okay. For years, man, for a few years. Yeah. For fucking, it was probably a good fucking four years. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Three or four years. Man, that was fun, man. Fucking, used to have everyone come down. Yeah. It was fucking mad. Yeah. yeah. But um, sadly, fucking, you know, as I was saying before, the fucking government bullshit. Just, and, yeah, okay, so that was it. Yeah, yeah. They had the front council and the cops coming down all the time trying to shut shit down. and. But no, yeah, what well, Adam was telling me about that. He said these people were just coming in for no fucking reason. Mm. You know, some person made a complaint and then yeah. they dragged the 
you know, yeah, the, the public and downstairs and <laughs> taken away from what he's supposed to be doing up there for no, yeah, for no reason. No reason, yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, fucking that. Um, they used to have, um, they used to have, uh, I think the council used to get the cops to come down and try and find anything. That anything, could, yeah, yeah. Find any fucking yeah. reason just to fucking try and shut the place down because they want that fucking building. Yeah, the building, yeah. 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 And, you know, it fucking heaps of credit to fucking Chris for sticking it up there because he's fucking, they can't fucking do it because they've got a 10 year lease down there. Yeah, right, okay. And he was like, he didn't give up. If they fucked him up for a while, mm. they were fucking, they were close to like actually shutting down. Yeah, right. But then he stuck it out, got some other people in there, and mm. fucking he's slowly coming back now. Yeah. So fucking me and um, me and some of the boys do a thing down there every Thursday. Uh huh. It's more of a, more of a vocal vocal thing for us. Yep. But um, it's fucking, it's fun. It's fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. You just sit there, you can see in tunes, and yeah, it's mainly cool. for harmonies. And Is that what you were doing last last night as well? The solo thing? Nah, last night was just a solo gig down it, there. Was it? Yeah. 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 Like, it was, that was last minute too. Okay. Yeah. yeah he, he asked me if I could come down and do it. I yeah. Was, I had no voice either. I was fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. why you're calling for singers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, any singers want to come yeah. down for a hang and fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it made it through. I was just sitting yeah, there fucking sweet. around, really. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking making up loops and yeah. shit. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> no, that's awesome. So, um, where do you see the next... I, I was going to say five years, but let's see. What, what do you see the next 12 months? I don't know. I don't even think I look that far ahead, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... For me, at the moment, it's just, I, I, I don't look that far ahead. I'm just, I'm just fucking, I'll take everything as it's coming. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Fucking, uh, what I meant by that was probably, are you, are you seeing any changes that? Um, nah, no, no, really. just taking nah. it as it is and, yeah, yeah that's cool. Um, and I, really, I'm just fucking, it's work now. Yep. It's work that I love doing. Yeah, yeah. It's what I fucking Yep. That's what I was born to do. Yeah, right, yeah. But um, my, my thing is, I've got to feed my kids. Yep. And if I can, if I can feed my kids doing what I'm doing, I'm, I'm fucking winning. Absolutely, you know? yeah. I'd rather be doing this than being fucking stuck in a factory or driving a truck, you know? Yep. Actually, I didn't mind the truck job. It was all right. It was, I was looking for my brother-in-law. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I had a mad stereo in there. So yeah. I was fucking blasty. <laughs> Fucking all day. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I'd, I'd, I'm I'm happy doing what I'm doing now. But yeah. And I've, yeah. You know, I've been around for a while. Well, and, you um, definitely built a profile. Um, you're very recognisable. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah, awesome singer, awesome player. <laughs> Just it's cool, man. So have you ever like, you know, from have you ever had approaches from? You're like record companies or, or people like that try and snatch you away as a solo solo fella you know what I mean Funny that, that's what I'm saying about I mean you're recognisable you've yeah. got the voice you can fucking play your ass off yeah yeah um, not really a record company no sorry uh, but um lack, I, lack of a better no nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've had fucking um, I've had calls for to, I've had calls from um, the voice Right. Um, oh, they call you? X, X, X Factor. Oh, they come I've, after you? I've, I've had them call me. Oh, right, okay. I always thought that was something people chased. Yeah, nah. Oh, right, okay. They've, they've fucking actually called me and asked if I wanted to be part of the show. And so I thought, okay, this is me and the band to come do something. Yeah, yeah. There. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, if I could, we could do something, you know. And they're like, no, no, just just you to come be part of the show, yeah. to come and actually participate, yeah, be a contestant. Straight away, I was like, no, yeah. you can't get fucked. That's wicked, man. Yeah, man. That's I'm like no. That's noble as that's yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna go and fucking do all that shit, and then the fucking what about my boys? Your boys, yeah. yeah. And then. 
on top of that, I'm not going to go and do that show and be judged by a pack of fucking dickheads, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, half those fucking judges can't even fucking sing. sing yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, we can, whoever wants to go and do that shit, that's fucking fine. Yeah, it's yeah. great, you know, everyone's yeah. got their own opinion about it. You know? yeah. Fuck it. It's cool, man. Yep. But for me, I'm like, nah, fuck. Yeah, I'd never go and do any of those shows. That's cool, man. It's cool for somebody else. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm more fucking. I like, I like doing what I'm doing. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Fucking whether I'm fucking become famous or not, fucking I don't care. Yeah. It's music. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. It's all about the music and the hangs and the yeah, fucking yeah. the bond between fucking me and fucking everyone else. That's it. Now, how was it? How was it to get that call? to go and play the Sydney Drums Percussion Show? Oh, bro. <laughs> so, again, because uh, I, I, got, I got endorsed by the fucking symbol company. Yeah. Uh, Istanbul. Yep. And that was done through dynamic music and all that. Yep. So I was like, fucking happy as. Yep. So I don't have to fuck buy symbols anymore <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. I'm like, yes. Awesome. Yeah. But I got, yeah, and so they called me. They 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 got my number through Dynamic Music. Oh, Mark Mark Trust, mm -hmm. who's uh, the, kind of the head of of Dynamic Music, and yeah. he's based in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so fucking, I think they they got word of me fucking through them, and then they hit me up. And they called me and asked me, and I was like. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm fucking down hard. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Keen. Yeah. yeah. You guys like, killed it too. It was wicked. Oh, fuck. I was yeah. like, yeah, man. Mm. Fucking keen. Yeah. Mm. You know? Not every day you get to do those kinds of things. Yeah. I was like, yeah. And I says, oh. Because I'm, I'm not a solo player. I fucking can't solo for shit. I'm a fucking pocket groove. Yeah, fuck groove. Then. That, yeah, that's man. me, bro, all day. Yep. So I said to him, well, fucking, fuck, fuck, I'm down, man. Can I bring my bang though? Ooh. Yeah, fuck. No. Whatever you want. Just fucking let us know. Oh, sweet. Fuck. Yeah, man. Fucking got them in there. All got paid. Fucking sweet. Awesome, yeah. We went down to dinner. It was fucking fun. And it was good to see all the other drummers. Yeah, fucking, yeah. Especially yeah. the overseas dudes. Yeah, right? nice, yeah. Me. Yeah. But it was, it was fucking, it was, it was fucking awesome to get that call and do that gig. Yeah, that's wicked, man. Like fucking any gig, bro. Any fucking big yep. gig, you yep. know. For me, like when you get, get, get the call to go and do it, it's mm. like yes, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. Excited, and fucking. I'm like, yeah, man. Yep. Keen as always, keen. Yeah, that's cool. Man. <laughs> well, buddy, that was. It's pretty much it. fucking awesome, man. I really appreciate you. <laughs> ah, fuck. Thanks for having me, bro. Telling your story and. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome story. Wicked story. For <laughs> Connor. It's like a rags to riches, eh? Yeah, bro. Rag, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Just without the riches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, you, it sounds like you're rich, bro. You've got your family, got your music, you know? Yeah, nah. It's bloody definitely. awesome. And yeah, it's good to have you as part of the scene, bro. And oh, man. Yeah, can't wait to get your story out there. So. Oh, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Good buddy, bro. Thanks very much, bro. Thanks, heaps, man. Yeah, sweet as, okay. bro. Right. Sick. <laughs>